In this video, I'm going to show you a fascinating phenomena, a plant that won't sprout in the dark. A couple of years ago, I tried planting trumpet vine seeds, but they just got moldy. Not a single seed sprouted. I gave up on germinating them until I recently came across a book called Seed Germination Theory and Practice by Dr. Norman Dino. Dr. Dino was a chemist and plant scientist who tested thousands of seeds to determine how to germinate them. Here's a quote from the title page of the book. Every species has some mechanism for delaying germination until after the seed has been dispersed. The science of seed germination is the discovery and description of such mechanisms and the development of procedures for removing them so that the seeds can germinate. I got tingles up my spine when I read this because I knew I'd stumbled across something amazing. Here are a few takeaways from this book. You can think of seed germination science as picking a combination lock. A seed may have one or more inhibitors and you need to remove each one before you can unlock germination. Some common inhibitors include temperature, light, or darkness, chemical inhibitors in the flesh of the fruit, and lack of gibberellic acid, which is found in many plants and fungi. Some plants need temperature oscillations to sprout, and some parasitic plants require the presence of chemicals from the host plant to germinate. As a rule of thumb, you want to replicate the natural environment of the plant to encourage sprouting. For example, many desert plants need cold temperatures to germinate because that's when water is available to the seedling. Returning to trumpet vine, I looked up its scientific name, Campus radicans, in Dr. Dino's book and found that it belongs to a class of plants that need light to sprout. I realized that my previous germination failure might have been due to burying the seeds which block the light. By the way, I'm Tim, an electrical engineer who applies engineering principles to gardening. If you enjoy learning about how science and engineering can be applied to gardening, please subscribe. I've decided to put Dr. Dino's claim to the test by creating an experiment. I'm using the Dino method and placing seeds into two bags. One will go under a grow light and the other will be placed in a dark area in the same room. Let's get started. This seed packet will be going under this grow light and I'll be taking a time-lapse video with this camera. This one's going in the dark underneath this couch. I'll periodically check on both these sets of seeds over the next two weeks and then share with you the results of this experiment. Okay, it's been 14 days. The trumpet vine seeds under the light sprouted about four days ago. I waited four days to give extra time to the seed packet that was in darkness. Let's take a closer look at the sprouted seeds. You can see about half of them sprouted. Now let's examine the seeds that were kept in the dark. Not a single seed has sprouted, even though they were in the same room, had the same moisture, and were planted in the same way. These results are incredibly interesting to me. I've never encountered seeds that don't like to be buried. If you look at the structure of the seeds, they give you a clue about how they should be planted. The fact that they are large and flat suggests that in nature, they probably just fall and land on the soil surface with their structure preventing them from being buried. I've transplanted these seeds that have sprouted and now I have trumpet vine seedlings. To summarize, I've been able to replicate Dr. Dino's results for trumpet vine seeds. 
If you'd like to try this experiment yourself and need some seeds, I have some spares. Just contact me through the link below. If you cover the shipping, I'll send you some free seeds in an envelope while supplies last. If you love gardening and technology, please subscribe. Check out vegetronics.com for cool gardening gadgets and automation ideas. Thanks for watching.